Doc, I want you to tell me, I want you to tell everybody, what is PRTMS? So PRTMS is personalized RTMS. And the personalized part is the ability to treat different locations with different frequencies Mm -hmm. of different lengths of dose for different periods of time Mm -hmm. with different intervals between the pulses and with lower amplitude. The lower amplitude allows us to treat more regions. So we can treat and access areas of the brain that aren't otherwise accessible by, by standard TMS. Okay. And by personalizing it, we're looking at the outcome of the patient's uh, scores and their symptoms as we treat them and putting it back in the computer and driving solutions we think are, are better for the patient. And in, and by personalizing it, you're seeing better results than you would with standard TMS, correct? Yeah, I think in general in medicine, personalization is really becoming a predominant form of uh, of moving the ball forward for patients. We have some patients that don't respond to the exact mm-hmm. same protocol that others respond to. And mm-hmm. we know it's about making it very like patient uh, specific. And so our goal is to make it very patient detailed and specific. So have you seen, like we, we've seen the statistics of, of standard TMS, right? Um, 30 to 70% people respond to this. Are you seeing higher um, results, better results? From PRTMS? So in, in general, when they talk about response rates, they're talking about what percentage is um, or group of patients is having a 15% or more mm-hmm. reduction in their symptoms. Okay. So you have to like define what is a response first. Got you. Um, we see a much bigger drop in their symptom scores in 15%. And we're also seeing it in a larger population of patients, maybe closer to 85, 90% are having more than a 15% drop in their symptoms. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you're seeing these symptoms dropped in multiple categories too, aren't you? True. We take the um, anxiety test and depression tests as well as sleep every week on all of our patients. And we also take specialized tests for ADHD or PTSD. And we Mm -hmm. track them. These are all standardized tests. And the goal is to look and see as we adjust our protocols, is it dropping their score faster? Right. And the goal is to drive toward these solutions where there's faster response. So if you compare what we're doing to standard TMS, it's a little more elegant in terms of um, being selective of the many things I mentioned before, but also we're going to use EEGs to constantly update our protocols. And okay. Every, every week we change the protocol based upon the response. Right. In medicine, that's, that's a classic dose response. And so that's every five sessions... Um, the client is getting a new prescription adjustment to their to their treatment protocols. True. So every week, every five days, let's say six days or so, they're giving in, given a new protocol following a new EEG. Okay. Which is going to be again taking into account the response to the last five days of treatment. So you're okay. constantly moving a patient toward a, a better solution. Okay. By constantly adjusting, and that's how medicine's really done in general. We use a dose response curve. You give dose till a response is 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 leveled off. Okay. In this case, there was no dose response curve that I could see in standard TMS. It was one dose, one shot, one location. This is a dose response one size curve fits all based thing exactly. Yeah. Okay. And that's your approach to TMS is basically personalizing it for every brain. Yeah. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And moving along that 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 response curve, we look at the objective findings too, but the subjective scores are the most important thing. Hey guys, I know you guys like that content. Do me a favor, drop a comment below. Um, let's engage. Let's talk TMS. Have you done TMS? Have you, have you struggled with depression? Is there is there other topics you would like me to cover on this channel in regards to TMS, in regards to depression, anxiety? Uh, let me know. Let's let's talk.